Um, Saturday haul in for you guys today, and I'm going to start off by swatching the Morphe brow product that I hauled last week that I borrowed to my mom so I didn't have it in hand to swatch it <laughs> but she returned it to me and also said that it didn't have enough hold for her but I just wanted to swatch it so you can see the color real quick <laughs> so this is the supreme brow sculpting and shaping wax in biscotti um, again a new brow product from Morphe there and the tone has got a lot of yellow kind of in it it just doesn't vibe um, for me and same thing again not enough hold but just want to swatch for you that's the biscotti shade again and then I picked up a new shade of the Kosas Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer so this has got 0.18 fluid ounces of product and it's made in the USA and the shade that I have is 0.7 C and it says very light with pink undertones so this is a new shade of this concealer and I previously had like three shades of the Kosas. The very lightest one, which I think had a neutral undertone, but I liked the lightness. And then I had the two C shades, which kind of deepened up on me quite a bit. So I ended up kind of making a cocktail of them to try to get my coloring. So I, I was excited to try this one um, to see if it matched me better. That always seemed to be the biggest problem for me with this concealer was finding a good shade match. And this is a really good shade match for me. It's what I've got underneath my eyes today. So there's the box packaging and then here is the concealer, same style. They have a new complexion product. It's like a moisturizing light foundation situation. If anybody has tried that, I'd love to know your opinion on that. I wanna try it. It doesn't have SPF. Um, and I'm nervous about products like that when I put them all over my face for breakout reasons so I'm intrigued though by like the description of it on Sephora anyway if you guys have tried that new Kosas uh, cream face product let me know what you think of it I'd love to know so let's go ahead and swatch this guy right here again this is 0.7 C and it is what I have got underneath my eyes today and then if I kind of blend it out right there you can kind of see it gosh it just really kind of blends right into my skin tone it's a really good shade for me so I'm happy that I picked it up this concealer is like a medium buildable concealer it's very comfortable on my drier eye area um, I've always really liked the formula of this concealer again it was always the shade so I'm super happy that I picked this guy up and it is um, a better shade for me for sure. So again, that's the new 0.7C shade in the Revealer Concealer from uh, Kosas right there. I also got the new Sephora Best Skin Ever Glow Multi-Purpose Concealer. It's a luminous finish. Um, it says it has prebiotics in it. Very interesting. I'm not exactly sure what prebiotics do topically, but interesting nonetheless. <laughs> It says made in Italy on the sticker on the bottom. Um, it didn't come in a box, it just had a sticker holding it. The shade that I got is 13, which is fair with pink undertones according to the website. And it looked like the one that would match me the best based off of the swatches that are also um, on the website for this product. And this is so yellow on me. It's so far from being pink. <laughs> so I'm a little confused like how yellow are the yellow undertone ones <laughs> because this pulls so yellow on me. It's just, I mean, the consistency of the concealer itself is really nice. It feels very serum-y. Um, this shade is quite brightening underneath my eyes, um, but because of that yellow kind of undertone, it made it look a little like sallow in that area and the coverage is light. So it's not a super like full coverage product. It's a light concealer product. Um, so I found that because of that coloring and then also the lighter coverage right here in my eyes, it still looked a little bit again sallow or dark there when I was wishing for uh, maybe just a little bit more coverage or even if I had a pinker tone in this it would have helped to you know cover that darkness while still being a lighter coverage concealer product but because of that tone it just didn't do it for me so you can really see the yellow in that guy right there um, again the consistency is nice it blends out nice it is a light coverage concealer in my opinion um, the color is just not right for me <laughs> so um, that's unfortunate because it's the again it says fair with pink undertones on the website and um, this right here doesn't look anything like the swatch that's in the picture with all the colors on the Sephora website 
not even close. <laughs> that one is so much more pink on the like arm of the model that swatched it. So anyway, um, again, nice formula, but definitely the wrong color for me. So that is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Glow Multi-Purpose Concealer right there. I also bought one of the new Makeup by Mario Super Satin Lipsticks. I just got one shade to try out the formula and also the shades. It's so hard for me <laughs> to order lipsticks online because again when I see the swatches I'm like gosh that looks like a really great nude for me and then I always get it and it's always darker than it looks you know what I mean um so I just got the one shade to kind of see how it plays out and then this is another product I'd love you guys' opinion on um I got the shade Midtown there's 0.12 ounces of product in here and this one here is made in Italy so here's the box packaging right there and this is the lipstick that I've got on my lips today and this formula is stunning. It is an absolutely beautiful lipstick formula. It's creamy, it's opaque, it doesn't like settle into the fine lines. It almost, with that shine and that creaminess to it, it almost also kind of blurs a lip line just because of the consistency of it. Um, usually like lighter cream nudes especially can kind of settle or they can be finicky. This is not like that at all. It is an absolutely stunning lipstick formula. Um, feels comfortable, it's hydrating. Um, let me swatch it for you. <laughs> so this is the bullet right here. And again, the formula is just, it is just beautiful. Let's put a little bit more on. So the question I have, because I want to get a couple more shades, but I don't want the shades to be any darker um, then this shade right here. The tones, I, I want like a warm undertone and a neutral undertone, which there are two shades that appear to be like that. Um, but I don't want them to be darker in terms of the light to dark range, you know what I mean? Um, so anyway, if you guys have tried a couple of these, I'd love to know your opinion how that compares to mid-tone in terms of how deep it, they are or how light they are. Because again, there are two more that I want to pick up. Um, I just have not been too town in a hot minute to even see if the Sephora inside of Kohl's has um, the new lipstick range but um, in any event this is a beautiful lipstick it's what I have got on my lips today and this is the uh, shade Midtown again which is a nude with a pink undertone to it it's just really really pretty I also picked up two of the new lip products from Charlotte Tilbury. She launched new shades of her lip cheat the reshape and resize lip liner this is a lip liner um, iconic nude. Um, the, there are quite a few. Pillow Talk. Um, there's that one with the peachy undertone to it. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I have gone through and used up several of these Charlotte Tilbury lip liners in the past, and so I was excited to see new shades. So this is the shade Icon Baby, and there is a total of 1.2 grams or 0.04 ounces of product in this one. And this one here is made in the USA is what it says. So here's the box packaging. And this is the lip liner that I've got on with the Mario lipstick. And I have sharpened it once because I've actually been wearing it all week basically. And this pairing is just stunning. It's great. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury lip cheats like this. Uh, the formula of these is really, really great. They've got great longevity, but they don't wear off super unflattering. Um, again, I've used up several of the lip cheats in the past, and this color is just really, really great. And it matches that Mario lipstick super. So again, that's the new Icon Baby lip cheat from Charlotte Tilbury right there. And then I got one of the new Kissing Fallen From the Lipstick Tree Lipsticks. She launched a, I think there's kind of like two-ish, is there two collections? Like a pinks and a reds maybe or something like that. Anyway, I was really intrigued by the packaging because it's a different color. It's got a rose gold pink um, packaging as opposed to the gold that she normally does. Um, and this was another really hard one to try to pick what shade to get online. I wanted to get the Icon baby shade or the shade that goes with that lip liner but it looked like it was going to be a bit dark again would love some feedback if you guys have tried that shade um but the shade I went with is a red carpet pink which looked to be a, a really pretty like baby pink on the website and all the swatches and the places I was seeing these lipsticks um and it is for me on my lips it's a real mid-tone pink color it's just darker which is the story of my life, right? <laughs> it's just darker than I thought it was gonna be. Um, the color itself has got like a pinky purple undertone to it. It's just not quite as nude as I was hoping for. 
that's not to say that it's not a pretty color. I just wish it was a bit more like baby pinkish. You know, this for me is a mid-tone, kind of cool tone pink. Really great lipstick formula from Charlotte Tilbury, but just I just was hoping for it to be a little bit lighter. <laughs> Which again, the story of my life, right? So anyway, that is the shade uh, Red Carpet Pink right there. I'm tempted to try out the nude shade again. Um, that goes with the Icon Baby Lip Cheat, and I'm also tempted to try a couple of the, the other Lip Cheat pencil shades too. Um, another product range that I would love to go inside of store and swatch. And then I got some palettes here to swatch for you guys. I bought my first ever Ensley Rain eyeshadow palette. I've heard really good things about them, and this color story just looks so beautiful, and the packaging and everything looked very, very beautiful. So I picked up the Cold Moon eyeshadow palette, which I believe is their latest launch, and it came in a box that mimics the uh, packaging on the palette as well. Really well packaged. It took a minute to get here. Um, that was probably the only thing it took, I want to say, I don't know, three weeks to a month, maybe about a month to get here. But I like the quality and the aesthetic of this palette so much, I'm definitely going to be keeping my eyes on the brand. Um, there's another palette on their website that I do want, but it's sold out. The color story looks just stunning. And this formula is great. So let's get into it here. There is a total of 23.1 grams or 0.82 ounces of product in here. Um, this is another brand that uh, puts where they distribute the product and not where it's made. Um, based off of the feel of it and my experience with other similar type of products, this is a made in PRC palette. So um, this is what the sleeve looks like again with the graphics on there. The fairy, I think it's a fairy, right? The fairy's just all over on the packaging. So like, here's the front and here's the back. And then if you open it up, it's inside again too, <laughs> which I love that. You know, I've always said, um, put the imagery on the actual product instead of just like the box packaging. These guys killed it with that. <laughs> so um, look at this color story. It is beautiful. There are some multi-chromes in here that are just so like sparkly and shimmery. Some of them have a little bit more piecier type of a consistency than others, but they go on with this foil duochrome multi-chrome shine that's just stunning. And this, uh, this color story is like total like fairy dream, right? Um, I think I've worn, I've worn a lot of the shades and as you can see, they have little notches in there so you can take these out. They're magnetized inside. Um, the mattes are pigmented. They blend out great. The shimmers, like I said, are stunning. I've been loving, absolutely loving using this palette. Look at how smooth like those mattes are. Look at that. Beautiful. And these next ones. When I get like such a good first impression from a brand like I am with this one, it sends me to the website wanting to like purchase every palette they have available. <laughs> Um, and I would have definitely placed another order by now had that that one palette that I really thought was like a stunning color story hadn't been out of stock. So I am keeping my eye on it though. And then these guys. I'm trying to be light with those um, kind of sh uh, shimmer shades because they can be a little bit flakier and soft. And I don't want to kind of like waste... <laughs> too much product falling out but and then these guys this is a standalone for me as well And this was a little bit like spendy for an eyeshadow palette, but for the quality, I understand why for sure. And then these guys. It's 
See, like, I, sometimes when they're that, like, soft, I end up picking up quite a bit of product. But... Like, I'm just barely applying any pressure to that. It's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. This is, again, my first purchase, but definitely not my last from Ensley Rain. So let me try to really get you guys some nice visuals here. So, so, so pretty. And here again is the packaging cardboard with a magnetic closure. I also got in the other two palettes that I purchased from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. This first one is the Surge palette, which I believe is the brand's second launch. I could be mistaken, but I feel like that might sound right. <laughs> so this guy here has got a total of 1.05 ounces of product or one gram times 30 shades. So each shade is a gram and it, they are made in China. So this is actually the palette that I have got on my eyes today. Um, I've got several of the Blend Bunny Cosmetics palettes. I just really like the formula, like the Blend Bunny, the blend <laughs> in Blend Bunny um, really holds true, especially with those mattes with how lovely that they blend out and their shimmers are really nice too. Um, one thing that I have had happen with uh, quite a few of the palettes that I have is the packaging always likes to warp a little bit, which is um, just a little off-putting <laughs> um, because it looks, like, you know, it makes it makes it feel cheap when the product is not cheap, you know what I mean? So I've had, again, several of the cardboard packaging from the brand, like, Warp. I just got this, and this is what it's already kind of doing. But not a deal breaker, but I do want to just mention that. So let's get into these swatches here. This is the inside right there. And again, this is the palette that I have got on my eyes today. I love blending out with these bright sh mattes on the bottom. Like I've got a bit of this orange kind of through here with this pink blending out this kind of deeper taboo shade. And then I've got underneath on the center of the lid and flash on the inner portion. And then I mix these two shades right here for underneath the brow. Um, blends out great, great, great quality formula. So let's get you some swatches. I probably won't be able to fit every one of these down my arm. We'll have to have a probably a double layer. And it is a standalone for me because that one lighter shimmer shade works out on the inner portion of the lid. And these next guys. Yeah, the, the mattes are so soft. I always use that reference, like sticking your hand in a bag of flour soft. <laughs> I just feel like that's something you could say and you guys would know how it feels through a lens, <laughs> you know? These guys. I think I forgot to mention that there's all but one of the rows is matte. So this is primarily a matte palette. This is your shimmer row and all the rest are matte shades. And these guys. Oh, I forgot to mention too, um, I do get some staining with the shades. It's not massive, it's not a big deal uh, to me, but I do want to mention that for sure. And then these ones. All of those, like, the shiny shades are just really pretty kind of metallics. Oh my gosh, you guys, that noise is, uh, <laughs> Uh, one of my cats snoring. Sorry about that. Oh my word. And then these next ones.
and then this bottom row. And for like super vibrant neons, these are really soft. A lot of the times, especially shades like this yellow, have a really dry, kind of chalky feel to them. These ones are still very soft. And then these last two here. Put them right here. So that is the Blend Bunny Surge palette. Again, it's been a while uh, around for a while. Um, and I finally just picked it up and I really do like it. And this is again the palette that I'm wearing today. And the second one that I picked up is the Lure palette. So this one's got 24 shades and it says for the mermaid within on the packaging. This one here is got 0.81 ounces or 23 grams. So each shade is almost one gram. And this one is also made in China. So here is the box packaging right there. And the actual mimics the box. This one I don't have any warping on it yet so this one still looks good um it's got like a little bit of texture to it where like the sparkly glitters are at but it's not the type of glitter that comes off you know on your hands it's suspended on there pretty good there's the back and this one here is also another kind of bright fun one i've really been enjoying this one as well and this is also a standalone for me this pearl shade even folklore they can be bright enough with the shine on the inner portion that i can use it kind of that way um I've used pearl underneath the brow mostly for that highlight and it's borderline just enough for like that brightness factor. Um, but this has been a fun one as well to pair with some other kind of brighter shades to it. But again, I can make it standalone if I would like. So the top row in this one are the shimmery metallics and then the other three rows are all mattes. One thing that would be kind of fun if Blend Bunny did would be to magnetize their stuff. Would that be fun, right? Or is that just me? I always, <laughs> I always want everything to be magnetized. <laughs> but you can see, like you know, the the sh the shift on those, like the brightness shift. Um, this one especially, it's got some brightness to it, you know. But if I turn it, there you can see right there, it's got a little bit of depth in it, you know. But in the light, it's very shiny. And again, the formula on all the shades is just really great. Guys. And then these ones. Oh, that, that like little color combo reminds me of Easter, which is coming right up. And then these guys. Again, I do get some staining with those purpley colors. And then these next ones. And then these last four. I'll have to put them over here. So again, that is the Lure palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics right there. It's another really pretty palette there. 
And that's everything that I got in that I purchased. I did get in some amazing PR packages. This first one is from Buxom. They sent over their latest uh, Buxom Plump Shot Lip Serum Shades. So I'll kind of read uh, the little card here. It says, uh, Plump Chrome Lips are in for 2024. Introducing Plump Shot Collagen Peptides Advanced Plumping Lip Serum in new multi-chrome tints. It says a pain-free way to instantly plump lips with no shots necessary. Captivate with clinical plumping that takes lips to new levels with an invigorating feel that keeps you going all night. And then here's what the kind of promo card looks like that was inside of the box. And I've actually purchased three of these because I do really like this product. Um, they give you like a tingling sensation to your lips. For me, it's not a painful one, but I know not everybody feels that way with like tingling style lip products. Um, again, for me, you can feel like the sensation on your lips, if you will, right? But it's not too much for me. I have found that if my lips are really dry, then it can get a little bit um, stingier than if my lips are really hydrated. And that's typically in the winter time. But again, I've purchased three of these. I started out with one and I did like them so much that I purchased uh, two more. So I'm super excited to get um, the latest launches, which are metallic shades of these. So these have got 0.14 fluid ounces of product and they are made in the USA. So this is the box packaging right here. And it's funny because the last time that I was in Ulta, I think it was maybe two weeks ago, they had these out and I swatched them and I almost bought like three shades. <laughs> so I'm glad that I didn't. I'm just looking at the ingredients on the packaging here and there are a lot of hydrating lip ingredients. Um, I was trying to kind of pinpoint what the tingly sensation would probably be and this does have peppermint oil in it. And like I said, I know some people are sensitive to that so I wanted to make note of it. Um, but reading on here that kind of for the ingredients that I know what they are at least. <laughs> that kind of looks like that's the one that gives kind of the um, tingly effect on the lips, if you will. So let's swatch these guys. This is what the packaging looks like. And this first one is Dreamy Dolly. These have got a doe foot applicator. And they kind of have a duochrome to them, which is quite pretty. This is like an orangey with a pink shift to it. So that one is Dreamy Dolly right there. And then we have got the shade Spellbound Pink. I know I had this one in my hands for a minute when I was in the store. Get a little more. Again, it's a kind of a duochrome pink, a little bit of some gold sparkles in there. And these have got that slight vanilla peppermint scent to them as well, which I think is quite pleasant. So again, that's Spellbound Pink. And then we have Enchanted Berry. Ooh, this looks like a fun one. It's like fire in a lip gloss, kind of. <laughs> that one there is Enchanted Berry. And it's again, it's like a fiery orange color in my opinion. And then we have Celestial Nude. Oh, this is another one. It's just got a very, very unique, like, coloring to it with a slight duochrome. Grab a little more. So that one right there is Celestial Nude. And then the last shade is called Starstruck Coral, which when you look at it in the tube, it looks like a bronzy color, but I bet it shifts a coral. I have not worn uh, this particular shade yet. But that one there, again, is Starstruck Coral. Let me grab that pink one and put it on over the Mario lipstick and see what kind of effect it gives. We'll use uh, Spellbound Pink, and I'm actually just going to put it on my finger since um, I've got the lipstick on. Yeah, that is like super, super pretty. That's the Spellbound Pink shade, and just a massive thank you to Buxom 
uh, for sending these over. Like I was so excited when I seen them because I had, like I said, I almost bought quite a few of these in the store the other day. I should mention when I use those Buxom Plump Shots, um, I typically wear them by themselves. So just a really like nude or matchy kind of a light lip liner. And then I use just those. Um, when I just put it over that lipstick, cause it is a real like nude, that makeup by Mario, um, it was kind of bunching up my lipstick a little bit. And when I use a glossy type product like that, again, I typically don't top it over a lipstick. I like to, I don't know, keep them separate. I've never been like a layer of the lipstick and the lip gloss, but I did want to make mention of that. So I kind of just tapped some of that off and went back over it with the lipstick because it kind of pieced it up a little bit. But again, I like to wear those uh, by themselves with just a lip liner. And then lastly, I got an amazing PR package from the House of Siage. They put together a set for the Lunar New Year. And not only is it a pretty set to celebrate the Lunar New Year, but it's also a really pretty set uh, for gifting for Valentine's Day. So as always, the House of Siage stuff comes so beautifully packaged. So this is the pretty red box and there is always a nice ribbon on there, but you have to undo it to get the box open. But I'll show you what it looks like. Anyway, this one comes with a red ribbon right there. And that's what the inside of the box looks like. It, everything from them always comes so beautifully packaged. And like something like this is already ready to like gift. So inside this set, it comes with the full size of the Benevolence fragrance, which is a fragrance from their signature range, 20% um, perfume oil. So when I wear Benevolence, it's one of my favorite fragrances from the signature range, probably um, Chef Adore and Benevolence are up there on the top in terms of the signature range. Um, so I've worn quite a bit of this guy right here. I brought out the bottle that I have in use and I left the one that was in the gift set in the packaging to try to keep it nice and more fresh to last longer, you know. Um, but this here is a gourmand with the prettiest like caramel to it. It's not a sickeningly sweet scent, but it is a gourmand and it's very, very unique with like a caramel aspect to it. Again, it's one of my favorites um, in the signature range from the House of Siage. I just, I feel like so many people could love this perfume. Um, if you've tried it, I'd love to know your opinion on it. A lot of you guys have, that like also gourmand fragrances like I do, have bought uh, fragrances based off of kind of my descriptions and you have loved them as much as I have. So that kind of like makes me happy. <laughs> so um, again, the packaging with the House of Siage with the Swarovski crystals and the French glass. It's always just super, super stunning. I have all of my House of Siage stuff sits out um, right by the mirror over there. And like when the lights are on, it just like sparkles, you know? So there is a full size of benevolence inside of there. And then you have got the classic travel spray in gold. And this comes with the uh, Haute's Bijou fragrance. And this is a 25% perfume oil. Um, again, you don't need a lot of spritzes with any of the House of Siage fragrances. I think I max out max out when I really want to be potent. <laughs> I probably max out at four spritzes. I don't think I've ever gone um, more than four with any of the House of Siage fragrances, um, but they just last all day long. I can smell every single House of Siage fragrance that I wear till the end of the day. I can get like whiffs of it. It lasts really, really well. Um, but this is the gold, again, the Haute Spijou Classic Travel Spray in gold, which is very pretty, nicely weighted. You've got your crystal on top. Haute Spijou is a little bit strong for me. So if I were to wear it, I typically would spritz it and mix it with something more than likely a gourmand when I wear it because it is a quite strong uh, fragrance with notes that aren't like my typical go-tos, you know. But this one here again is the Haute Spijou and these are refillable right here. And they do have really, really good sales on the House of Siage website. I totally recommend subscribing like to their newsletters because they'll send out which fragrances are on sale and they are really good sales. Um, they have sets of their travel sprays as well. It's just so luxe. I actually travel with these House of Siage, one of the House of Siage fragrances with a travel perfume in it when I go places. Also in the set is the Whispers of Admiration Bowtie Lipstick Case. Again, packaging, packaging, packaging is so, so pretty. There's a, a little authenticity card inside both the perfume and the lipstick case. And it comes with its own like jewelry style lipstick cases is like a kind of like a felt pink kind of a feeling to it. And these lipsticks do come with a little pouch 
as well. I just knew it was going to take me a little bit longer to get it off if I put the lipstick bow back in there for filming, you know? So this case is one of the prettiest cases. They've got versions of this lipstick case in different colors as well. So this one here is the pink one. And they're very nicely weighted, just absolutely stunning. I usually always have one of these in my purse with like Nude Secura or either one of their lip balms. And the lip balm shade that they sent is Rose Balm. And I find that all of their lip balm shades are super like easy to wear. And they have got the prettiest vanilla scent. Both the lip balms and the lipsticks have um, that scent to them, which I wish that they could bottle that smell. I love the smell of the lip balms and the lipsticks. Anyway, this is the Rose Balm. So this is a refill stick and it comes with a little lid inside of there. And if you didn't want to like, you know, splurge on a bow tie and you wanted to try a lipstick or a lip balm, Nude Secure is one of my favorites. I've purchased refills of that lipstick. I love that lipstick, both the formula and the shade. Um, you can just buy them like this and use them in one of these too. So I'll kind of show you that these just pop out and then the name is on the refill right there. So let me swatch this one. I do have one in one of my lipsticks uh, back there that I use as well. So you can see right there, it's just got a nice hint, just a very easy to wear lip balm. And again, I find that all of the shades of the lip balms are very easy to throw on. That's probably why I usually have one in my purse because you can just grab it and, you know, put it on. They're very moisturizing. They feel really nice on the lips. Oh, and they got that beautiful vanilla smell. That's the Rose Balm right there in the Whispers of Admiration, which is a fragrance in the Whispers collection as well with the pink on it. So this is the Whispers of Admiration bow tie lipstick. It says House of Siage on there and has your Swarovski crystals. Just a massive thank you to the House of Siage for sending over their Lunar New Year set. I always like, I always feel so lucky. Like the brands that send me PR are brands that I just love. I get excited with every new launch and I feel like so lucky that I am sent the brands that I love, <laughs> if that makes sense. There's like, it just, I don't know. It gets me the, the giggles and the giddies, I guess. <laughs> so again, a huge thank you to the House of Siage for sending over their Lunar New Year set. And that is everything that I have for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.